Hey everybody, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Warplan Pacific. And today I'm going to, I'm actually restarting this game. What I did uh, last week and I didn't get it up on the channel, which was fine with me because I wasn't too happy with how it played. So uh, I started the China campaign in this game. Uh, it runs from uh, July 7th, 1937, the Marco Polo Bridge incident, to September 1st, 1939, which is obviously the date that Germany uh, invaded Poland. So what we're going to do here is we're going to... Um, I don't know if I really want... <laughs> Jeez, how many of these do I have to go through? Apparently a lot. Okay. Come on. I had it sitting at historical. I'm going to give them a bonus effectiveness. And we're going to... Instead of a historical plan, we'll go with a random. I kind of hate to do that, though. Um... Yeah, let's do that. So, the reason that there's two reasons I'm doing this. One, the war in China is uh, vastly overlooked, particularly the early part of this war. And uh, I don't know if you, any of you pay attention to the thumbnails on the videos, but if you noticed, there's a little bit of me there standing on the Marco Polo Bridge. I got to go to China in 2000, I believe it was 2009, um, and uh, for two weeks with the Marine Raider Association. And uh, we were tracing the... Uh, the path, the places that uh, Evans Carlson went before the war. He actually developed uh, the concept of, of uh, fire teams from what he saw in the Red uh, Army, and he was on part of the long march with them. Uh, and he came back and applied that to the Marine Raiders when he got back. That trip was largely organized by his granddaughter, Karen Loving Carls or Karen Carlson Loving. Sorry, I got it backwards. And she's she's awesome. She's a great lady. And uh, so I get to go, and it was an amazing experience. And we did, of course, go to the Marco Polo Bridge, which is a lot bigger than I thought it would be for some reason. I didn't know the river was that wide. It's pretty wide. So you can check that picture out on the thumbnail if you didn't notice it. And we're going to jump in and see about this. With the Japanese invasion of Manchuria in 1931, the tension between Japan and China had been building. Japan's imperial policies have placed a demand on natural resources the country is deficient in, deficit in. The incident at the Marco Polo Bridge begins the Second Sino-Japanese War. So let us go ahead and get started. Another reason I'm doing this is I need to do some work on figuring out the naval end of this game. As if you saw my Solomon's campaign, you know that, uh, yeah, I'm kind of lost when it comes to figuring out what the heck is going on with the carriers. So, all right, so here we go. They move first. So they're in Peking or Beijing or Bay, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Towns change names a few times in my lifetime alone. Um, and the, one of the reasons that I'm up to the Japanese a bit is I held on the river line you can see me on now for months after when I played through the first time. I only played through the first video, so I scrapped that. We're doing it again. Okay. The brutality and savagery of World War II started in 1937 with an incident on the border of Manchuria, or as the Japanese called it, Manchuko, and China. It sparked an eight-year war between the Japanese and the Chinese. The objective of the Japanese is to take and hold as many objectives as possible until Germany declares war on Poland September 1st, 1939. A frontal assault is expected, but the Japanese must be prepared to take the coastal ports, as well as Shanghai and Canton, are far better objectives to march to by land. The Japanese, as the Chinese, your position is to delay your adversary as much as possible till your army can form a strong defensive line. Hold as much ground as possible without sacrificing the army. Be careful of captured production centers as they will be used by the enemy. So obviously the Japanese want to capture production centers naturally, and we don't want them to. Here is Shanghai. Here's the Japanese getting ready to invade. Uh, but first, we're going to start up here. And as you can see, um, we've got a pretty good line here already, but it's certainly uh, 
undergoing some stress. Okay, so we need, let's see, where can we get you? Good. We're going to put you up here and hope to heavens you can hold. You've been beat up pretty good. We're going to um, make you a priority for reinforcements. Um, we're going to pull you right up here. Now, we could try, but I'm not going to. Not this turn. It's a little too early. And I hope we can hold here long enough to fill these blanks in, but I don't know that we can. Okay, here's Xi'an, which we visited during during my trip in China, and we're going to form the Red Army around that. This is the Red Chinese. Um, I think this guy is too. Yeah, he's a commie. All right, you little commie, get over here. These commies, you can't trust them. Xi'an is in the mountains. It, this makes it look like it's on flat land. It is not. So um, there's that little perhaps glitch error whatever um I'm gonna put, uh, shoot there's production there so stay there shouldn't have done that meanwhile you sir are going to get moving up here and we're gonna have to what's have we got uh can we move this guy by rail okay yes we can <laughs> Good. Let's bring you right up here. Um, so, uh, where there's Shanghai? Yeah, we don't have a lot of good options in Shanghai yet, but um, we will. I don't want to pull any people off the coast. Guys like you, maybe. Let's go ahead and he has no rail move. <laughs> All right, let's move him up towards this. And there's these guys. Yeah, I don't know that my air force is going to do me any good at all, but it isn't going to hurt either. So there's that. And yeah, I moved you right. Yes. Okay. Um. I do like how this map scrolls. It's like smooth as silk, almost too smooth, a little bit. Um, and now we want to take a look at building. Can I build anything? No. Nope. 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 Okay. Um, as far as reinforcements go. We got a bunch of guys warming up, so this is good news for us. Uh, and the commies, they have nothing. So there you go. So that's it for the first turn. Um, pretty swoop. See what I mean about the scroll? <laughs> pretty simple and direct. So you just come up here and click in turn and say yes. And here we go. Here they go. Hitting Shanghai early. Forced me out a little quicker than they did last time, so they're a little stronger with these new settings. That's good. The Japanese should be at this stage of the game, for sure, dude. Well, that's interesting. They actually made this guy inactive. Yeah, I know the Red Army doesn't have any the HQ. All right, come here. Yes, we know. That's why we're moving him. Um... Yeah, that'd be a good spot. You're going to have to put somebody in that town whether we like it or not, and I don't. So there. Okay, so look at this. Deploy. Oh, I always forget i got to hit the deploy button. So we can deploy these guys, like, all over the place. We're going to put them here. And... Um, here. We're done. Done with that. And you were boy. Can this guy this guy he does have rail. Yeah, we're gonna rail you down here to get you to dig into Nan King. If you've ever heard of the rape of Nan King, there's Nan King. 
Uh, there's no way. Yeah, I'd rather put it there, but this is there, and they just might try to grab that. It's on the wrong side of the river. Dang it! So I'd like to set up some kind of a uh, something here, but for now, you're going there. I wish you were stronger, but you are not. We're going to actually make you a priority for reinforcements. You're staying where you are. Um, you know, I don't think the Japanese are going to have much in the way of air forces, so is that it? Well, there's this guy. Can he see he got any rail? Nope. So let's just go ahead and move him. Hopefully next turn he'll have some rail. I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to strip everything completely bare, and the coast has got to stay. So that's it. Yeah, we moved him. Um, this guy is hopefully going to start to dig in. Oh, he is. All right. Okay, that's it. No counterattacks yet. Let's see how long we can hold here. Ugh. I don't know. I gave them an advantage, and they're still not pushing it here at all. That surprises me a little. Yeah, that's not good. Japan invades China. Yes, we know. So, that is the only place they invaded, right? Yeah, good. I want to make sure. Yeah, Hong Kong's empty, of course. Has to be. So, let's go back here. Get you up. And we're going to... For now, I'll put you right here. Let's look at building... And let's look at the commies. Can they build anything? I doubt it. Nothing. So I can't build the 8th Root Army yet, or Route Army, whatever. Uh, we don't want a headquarters. I would like, though. How about an infantry army? Nope. Core is small. I'm just going to wait. I don't want to build cores when I really need armies. Ah. Oh, look at this. Perfect. A mundo. Almost like they knew. Almost like I was communicating with them. <laughs> Almost like I'm insane. All right. Um, yeah, here we go. Um, let's send one of you up here. One of you is coming down here, and I hopefully... Hopefully that will be enough. Meanwhile, uh, you know, we're doing pretty good up here. Now, this guy's on reserve. I wonder, does that make him easier to hit? I don't know. Let's try it. Doesn't not appear to. <laughs> and I'm still waiting for them to jump over here and start to peel me one way or the other, peel this line open, but they're not yet. So, ooh boy, Hang Sin is going to fall very quickly here. Yeah, it fell. Oh, jeez, they wiped him out too. Ugh. That's bad. Because now I, I don't know how I'm going to... Look at that. Wow. They are going nutso with the exploitation. Yes, I know all about my shattered core. Thank you very much. I'm going to swing you around here. See if I can drive in here and maybe cut this guy off. Ugh. Dang it. Well, I said I didn't want to do this, but I'm doing it now. Well, wait a minute. Let's see if maybe this guy could deploy. No, not there. I don't want you there. Well, I'll... I could put him there. That's too far away. Let's put him right here. 
not in a good spot. He's out in the open. He's not dug in. But what am I going to do? Now, can I build an infantry army? Yes. Let's see what the commies can do. Can you do anything here? Commies. Come on, commies. Really? The 8th route army is a mountain core? <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're in trouble. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, I think we're going to put you... No, we can't put you there. So we'll have to put you over here. It's not exactly the best spot to be in. I'm covering way too much ground here, but I think right now it's necessary. Now, I'm going to see what they can do with this. This is locked up pretty tight. They've had a chance to, to go. They just... I, I don't know why they didn't exploit that. Maybe they couldn't somehow? I don't know. Um, or why they aren't, like, pounding on this guy. Again, maybe they haven't. I don't know. So, we'll see. They don't seem to be... Oh, whoa. Uh-oh. So, some of their... They're really aggressive in some places and very... Passive and others. Wow, look at that. Holy crap. Well, we can't have an unbroken line of units anyway for my front throughout all of China. Obviously, it's just too dang big, so um, that's just the way it's going to be. Ah, good, I got two ready. No, I don't want you in Chongqing. No! Uh, I don't really want you there either. But I guess I'm not going to have much of a choice. We'll put you there. Put you there. Rats. Uh, the next one's October. Okay, so we got a month. Uh, not what I was looking for. This is wide open. They haven't exploited this, but they are going bonkers out here. Um, they don't seem to be terribly organized. They did capture that town. These are not major or important cities. This guy looks pretty beat down. Um, yeah, they can flank me like easy as pie, but we'll just have to live with that and see what happens. Okay, um, seems to me Wow, didn't do a dang thing. Okay. How about you guys? Let's try this again. That, that was not a good idea to try. <laughs> um, can I build anything? Probably not. Nope. Have the communists done anything to make themselves worthwhile here? Nope. Thanks a lot, Mao. Thanks a lot, Mao Zedong. Alright. Ooh. Yeah. Man, that Marine unit is really getting beat up. Oh, man, I need some more units. I need to... I need... It would really be nice if I could get this back. It looks like this guy's going to be coming up here. Or he might just come in there. Yeah, no reports available, thanks. A lot for nothing... Um, shoot. Okay, hold on. Let's get you moving. 
got rail. All right. Let's see if we can get that town back. And now let's put you, unfortunately, here. Not where I wanted you, but you'll just have to live with it. Um... Let's come down here and stretch our flank out a little bit. Yeah, he's still getting pretty good, I guess. Uh, you. No rail? Shoot. All right, we'll get there. We will get there. Meanwhile, we're holding strong here. Um, it's awesome. All these guys are under control. So the good old uh, First War Area HQ, sounds kind of weird, the terminology is different, is doing well. So we'll wait and see. I Come on, I gave you guys some advantages. Do I need to redo this again and give you more? Yeah. Ah, now they're finally going for the flank here. It's about time. I know it sounds weird, but I'm just testing this out. I want them to do better. <laughs> I want them to put up a real fight. I mean, you know, it'd be ridiculous to hold them on that line for, you know, two years or something stupid like that. So they've moved around. So that's good. I mean, for them, it's bad for me, but that's okay. Okay. And here we go. And here we go. And so I can come in up there if I want it. Which I'm going to need something up here pretty quick, but pretty far away from that. You're coming in there. Um, you know what? I'm going to put him up here. Even though, you know, I'd really rather not. Man, we're running out of troops, though, so we got to build some people here. Come on. Yes, I can build an infantry army. Awesome. Can the communists do anything here? These people are worthless. Always said so. Okay. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Put you there. You're going to come. Do you have rail, though? So wait a minute. What's his rail? Where will his rail take him? That's what I thought. Alright, so we got that town back. So we're going to send him over here to go for that. So that means we do have rail if I want it. I'm not sure where I could use it at exactly. I could. See, I can't come down here, which I'd really like to do, but that's not a rail line, apparently. So, uh, but I can put him there and come over the next turn or put him here. Let's put him here. And they pulled back their marine unit. Um, yeah, so we're all right. We're doing okay down here. We're containing them, sort of. Although, again, they could drive for Win Chow and take it easily if they wanted to. But they don't seem to want to. Um, this is a problem. I could pull back, but that, I'm getting behind the river, but I lose my dug-in status. But that's what I'm going to do. As much as I dislike doing that. Um, because otherwise, he's just getting hit on too many sides. We'll see if they flank that. It's raining, that's not going to help them. But it was, you know, they had the dry season there for a few turns and didn't do much with it. Let's look at all these units, the AIs shuffling around and not using. Typical AI behavior, but I know, but, you know. If this is the best the AI can do, then they really need to weaken the uh, Chinese armies, at least for the human player. Okay, 
so in a minute yeah we'll leave you there um it's gonna slow me down oh wow it really slowed me down um boy well we can get to there so that's almost a full line although this flank's totally open and they're doing diddly squat about it um let's see what he can't move is it what they can't do rail in the i don't get that should have moved him up there can i still move him not oh, yeah doesn't make any difference. All right, they didn't come across, so maybe we didn't hurt ourselves too bad with that botch. Um, yeah. Yep. We'll see what we got left here. Come on, boys. I'm actually rooting for the Japanese to do well. That's kind of strange. I'm not seeing anything here. They're not attacking. They're not. Like all these dudes. Why aren't a bunch of them up here pushing around that flank? I do not know. But it should be an obvious move. There. So we grab that. So we've choked off the roads at least for them. They could still like blow through them with no roads. But that of course is going to hurt their supply quite a bit. Um, now they're coming up here again, so they might be ready to try something. Oh, Lord, look at all those guys that are ready. Um, I'm going to put you here. And we're going to put you there. And we're actually going to put you right there. Oh, man, we've got to build some more people. I can do it. Come on, commies. Seriously. You guys, you... you <laughs> worthless. They're worthless. Okay. Fine, move on. Um, bu 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 okay, so you... Ah. Alright, we're going to pull you up here. And see if we can get you around and strengthen that flank a little bit more. Not that it's needed really, but why not? So with that... And it's snowing! And the Japanese are doing something. Oh, they brought that marine unit up and it's still really weak. So they must be having trouble getting supplies in, or they just... Oh. That's what happens when you hit a new army with that's not dug in. Ah, that's interesting. They have built an airfield. Okay, good. But I'm still not seeing it. Air people, come on. Come on! I also don't know in this game if when it's cold do the rivers overflow. Partisan activity. Hey, hey, good. Way to go, partisans. You know, does they freeze so that there's no river penalty? Uh, boy, that's interesting. Sure, why not? Uh, can we build one? Let's see. No. Cavalry core, we could. Mountain core, no. Mech, obviously, armor, we can't. Small core, we could. I, cavalry's nice, but it doesn't seem to... Yeah, uh, I'm not too thrilled about that. Hold on. Um, you're a cavalry corps, and you're doing very well, actually, so I will take that back. I will build a cavalry corps. Good. So we're going to have to creep through the snow and all this to get him in position. Um, you 
I have rail movement. But you can't use it. Fine, we'll come over here. Maybe you can use it there. Um, we're going to just let these guys maybe dig in, I hope. We'll see. And, um, you know, I could try pushing up to here, but then he could just swing around here and grab that. Let's do this. There you go. I think I'm going to push down. T well, no, I won't. He's dug in pretty well. I'll leave well enough alone there. And we'll swing you in here. Swing you in there. Hopefully they'll get a chance to dig in before they're hit too hard. If not, oh well. And that will do it for this video, guys. This is kind of a testing out the ground game here in paying tribute to a part of the war that is seldom, if ever, paid any attention to. Um, and uh, so uh, I just finished reading Tower of Skulls. Amazing books. First of a trilogy. It's going to cover the entire Pacific War. And it takes a huge chunk of that book to talk about the war in China. It's pretty amazing. So having been there, and seeing a few of the places where some of this stuff took place uh, really meant a lot to me. I encourage you to check it out. That's by Richard B. Frank, by the way. So until next time, this is the Wargaming Guy saying take care out there, everybody. And uh, I will see you later.